Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flick and Feathers again today. Doing another bass popper for you. This is um, using the Flyman double barrel popper heads. Uh, but there's a slight difference uh, from what you might expect with the weed card. Uh, and I'll show you how I do that when I get there. As always, there will be a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who would like to support the channel and be eligible for uh, members only content and any future giveaways that we do or the Amazon links if you would prefer to support the channel in that way that's also very much appreciated so I've got my hook and my vice, this is a, it's a mustad it's the Chuckcraft round bed popper hook, it's the CK uh, 52S which, now I don't know for sure, but the flyman or the surface seducer hook, because they call it, um, is so similar to this. You could, you would maybe struggle to tell the difference if they were sitting next to each other. Um, but I don't know if Mustad makes them or if it's just basically a copy. I'm not sure. So I'm getting my weed guard. This is just Harden Island. It's Mason's 16 pound. Always like to go as light as I possibly can. Uh, and I'm running this right round the bend. And I'm making sure the whole thing's covered with thread. Because this has got to be exposed thread and I, I want it to be well wrapped. Um, well, I just don't think one one layer really gives you the durability that you need. I'm more about the fly lasting that wee bit longer. So once I've got two or three wraps of thread, I'll just put a half hitch on it. And then I'm going to come in and just coat the lot with super glue. A nice good coating. And then when that's dry, I'll give it a coat of head cement as well. And that makes for a very, very tough, hard finish. Here's one I've got that's already dry. You could use resin, um, but the UV resin is actually not as tough um, because it sits, just sits on top. It doesn't actually go in and adhere to the, does it stick to the nylon and that the way the glue does? If you want it, I mean, I normally would tie up 10 or 20 of these and uh, follow up with epoxy rather than super glue and that, but just for the, I'm only tying a couple so I just do that this way. So just start my thread again and I'm going to come around to the start of the bend when it, my thread's hanging vertically. Now, different colour from the one that was in the vice to start with. Kind of orangey colour when I'm tying. So, just grab four hackles all about the same size. Just make sure you get the tips lined up. Lengthwise, it's up to yourself. Um, when that's sitting there, I like it. If it's just coming to sort of the the elbow of the the vice on these, that's that's big enough for me. Um, which gives your tail probably like a, a hook length or so 
I wouldn't go much more than a hook and a half. Um, because then it's going to start fouling. Now I tie one side in with a curve of the feather pointing outwards. Trim that waist long and just tidy it up. Now when I'm back at my tie in point ready for my side. Same again, make sure the feathers are lined up, measure them, make sure they're the same length, pinch them tight to the shank, tie them off. This stage we'll give them just a final check just to make sure they're Matched up nice. I'll trim away my waist again, trimming it quite long. I'll just tie everything off. I mean, you could, if you want, you could add rubber legs or whatever, but I'm just keeping these quite simple. So I've got my head here. I've already airbrushed it. I've got a video on airbrushing the popper heads. Which you can check out if you're interested. Just sort of gauge my length. That looks good there. I've just got to build the thread up so I've got a point where I know that I sort of roughly want to stop. I'm going to take another couple of feathers for this saddle and I'm, I'm just looking for quite big feathers quite long in the fibre with a good bit of web just going to line them up it's quite nice Tie them in by the tip. And I'm just going to wind these together. Just folding them as I go. If they fight you just you can always just back off a wee bit. I like to have this quite full and get into these softer, webbier fibres as I come forward. Right, the two, the two, the two hackles together. There we go. That's nice. Gives you a much, much fuller collar. have a slightly, could actually have a bit more hackle there, um, but I think we'll just leave it as is. So I've checked that, I'm going to just make sure all the shanks coat it with thread where it's going to be stuck to the Popper head. And then to accept to accept my weed guard so that I don't um disrupt the cup. Well it is I put just a couple of mil back from the lip, maybe three. Just gonna take a needle and come up through the belly just 
so that I can then get my nylon from my weed guard through just got your whip finish very quick yeah, you don't need to be too worried about what this knot's like large drop of super glue and I've put it on the kink I want I want to make sure that the the head sticks on the kink and but I've left a dry spot so that the glue can kind of get soaked up as it goes in let's take that back there we go and it will not you still there we go, perfect. So when you're happy with your fly, you can stick your nylon down through the jaws of your vise. And then Feed it, feed it through and then what I like to do is I'll take the loose end, put it through the hook eye Adjust the length of the weed guard. Maybe half again, like a maybe half a gap below the point of the hook. Then it's just a case of coming over your thread. Get your thread started. And then trim that waste piece of nylon short enough that it can fit back in. And then just take a couple of wraps of thread, just use your thumbnail to push it in. And you can shorten up the bottom thread and secure that in place. There you go. So as you can see, I hope the nylon from the weed guard's actually going in there. And if I just pick up this one from my bench, my bench, the cup face is completely round. You're not deflecting the bottom or anything with the the weed guard. So you get like it's, it's a, the the full bloop, if you like. And it does make a difference on the water. Um, so hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.